Drive Mrs. Holmes. Lewis! Good morning, Sergeant. Good morning, ma'am. Warden. I know. Dana, don't you think it's time I knew your first sergeant's name? I was just going to say it's a lovely morning, isn't it, Sergeant? Yes, it is. Lewis, drive the captain's wife to her quarters. Uh, I don't think you want me to do that, Sarge. Why don't I want you to do that? I told you they suspended my license. Get my hat. I'll take her, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. I take you myself, honey, but I have a mountain of paperwork. That's all right. I don't mind. If Sergeant Warden doesn't mind. Be my pleasure, ma'am. Captain Colonel Delvar's on the phone. Right down that piece, soldier. Bucking your own. Don't you want to know why he needs the car? Nope, I already know. Golf this afternoon with Colonel Delbart. And the officer stag tonight. It's always a mystery to me how you always know so much about it. No mystery is an officer. He'd strangle on his own spit if I wasn't there to swab out his throat. You make it sound as though he's even going to need you at the stag. No, he can do that himself. He won't be home till tomorrow morning. I'll meet you at 3 o'clock. Same place? Oh. Such a beautiful day. I think we ought to go lay on a beach. Oh, I don't know. Come on. I've been trying for over a month to get you to meet me and take you to the beach. Well, you know I don't like Kaneohe. It's almost as crowded as that damn Waikiki. Well, who said anything about Kaneohe? But where are they? What if I was to tell you I'd take you to a beach that nobody else knows about? A narrow inlet, smooth sand, high rock walls on three sides. When the cars go by overhead, they don't even know you're down there. It's kind of like when you were a kid hiding in the bushes, watching your friends look for you. Do you really know a place like that? Absolutely. You can get suntanned all over. And at night? What happens? You can swim in the moonlight. <laughs> 